We are back with game 2 between here and Mounts, looking at the teams who are quick to playing black and white OU. Here has some drag mech, I assume it's gonna be some sort of dragon and dragonite. Uh, choice Garf Garchomp and Choice Bennett Curum, that's what I see the most at least. And then Rox Chirachi, Offensive Starmie, and I'm not sure about the item on the zone, but it's just gonna be um, like Flash can uh, Volt Switch, right? Like it's gonna be a HP Fighter Trap Magnuson for his dragons, is what I'm thinking for sure, that's pretty obvious, right? And on Mounts' side, Mew is gonna be a pain to deal with for here because it will wisp everything and burn still does 12% in black white, um, so it's gonna be super annoying. So I assume it's Billow Wisp, Ice Beam, Softball, I'm not sure about the last move. Either the Kelly or the Ladi are gonna be Specs, and the other one of the two are gonna be Scarf, is what I'm thinking. Uh, Gliska is either gonna be um, fast, subtoxic, or a Spadef variant with only some speed. So we do see Mew lead off with Jirachi, Mount Scan will risk here, I assume he is gonna get up the rocks. Jirachi is not all, always um, fully physical in black white, like sometimes they can carry some sort of hidden powers. Um, they can carry thunder if they have um, rain, but this, this team doesn't have rain so I don't think it's gonna be thunder. And they can carry icy wind for like land of this score. So I assume it's like some hidden power, icy wind and iron head, but that's just what I'm guessing. My black white knowledge is not the best, you guys know this. And Mounts can double roll with here because Jirachi cannot really do much to the Mew. And even if Jirachi stays in and gets some chip on the Mew, that's completely fine. And double wisping here, um, I would probably go into Magnezone if I was here. Because you cannot risk going into like Kirim or any of the other physical attackers. Getting Wisp would be horrible. Um, and Starmie I think doesn't beat Mew on 1 on 1. Magnezone can at least fish for us, but death drops with Flash can. Or potentially Volt Switch out, Slow Volt Switch out. Um, but I would most likely go Magnus on here, Fish um, with Flash can force by Death Drops. But Mounts could also go in a Gliska on his own, but you, don't, you can see then. You can see what he does. But yeah, definitely you shouldn't go into a physical attacker here. Like, Double Will Wisping here is a little, um, it's a little low risk, high reward type of play. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you Double Wisp? <laughs> Yeah, Mons is either gonna be Rockstar or Rocks Rachi. I think that's some sort of bulky teaser. But yeah, I just don't know enough about Black White to tell you the exact sets on Tita and Rachi. On Ladi, I know when it's specs that they um, carry HP fire quite often. So we will, we will see if he has that later on. Like, he is definitely, um, yeah, gonna switch, and in the Kyurem Y, as Mounts does double will wisp and catches him, so now this Kyurem, if it's physical, which is most likely is, it's crippled, and Mounts can pretty much stay in here, because I don't think he has to fear anything. He can just stay in here and get some nice chip with Ice Beam, I guess, or does Mew also run Psychic? I don't know, just know that Ice Beam is pretty common. But yeah, this Mew is doing what I, what I said, a team preview, it's giving here um, a tough time. What is he gonna do? Like, go Stami on an Ice Beam? Go Magnus on an Ice Beam? Mm -hmm. And now Mounts is most likely... Um, like, Mounts can either Wisp or go to Gliscor. But this Mew is like super good in this matchup, so probably he's gonna go to Gliscor. You don't wanna risk, um, yeah, like getting the death drop, but Mew and I think Gliscor. Ooh, what? He Volt Switched. I mean, I do understand why he Volt Switched, because, um... In case the Mew stayed into will wisp um, he would've gotten a slow Volt Switch out, so I get it in that sense. But what would you have even Volt Switched out into? Starmie and fire of a hydro pump because Garchomp also doesn't beat the Mew and I guess Dragnet could be Lum but the Mew has Ice Beam so like he doubles in the Cheetah um, predicting some sort of switch like he was not staying in with the zone there he got his Toxic Orb activated now which is nice Cheetah can go for um, like Kyurem is forced out like Kyurem can stay in, but it would not do to do much to the Kyurem, uh, to the to the Tita. 
I guess mounts can go to Jirachi if you want. Yeah, I can, I can see mount switching in the Jirachi. Um, like even though Tita beats the Q on one on one, is uh, it's still nice for mounts to keep Tita healthy. If it has pursuit, then it can um, at this range of health after another rock switching. I think it can still take a hydro pump, especially if it's a bulky Tita. So um, keeping it healthy to pursue the Starmie would be um, in mom's best interest, right? Here goes Jirachi. Do we see Outrage or Drenclaw? Yeah, Outrage. That does uh, respectable damage. I definitely think that's banned. It's a resist and it's burnt. So uh, we will see now. That's definitely offensive, Rachi. Yeah. Um, he is locked into Outrage, so he's just gonna Outrage again here, and Mons can Iron Head if he has that to get rid of the Kyurem. Also, if he um, if he doesn't have U-turn, I was gonna say if he does not have U-turn, um, this is a bit annoying. If he went for Iron Head, because then the zone could have come in after and potentially trap the Jirachi, depending on Jirachi's move set. So I do understand why he wanted to U-turn out to keep it around, even though I don't think his Jirachi is that needed. So I killed the secret sword, picks up the Kyurem, that got I think a three-turn outrage. And now he's gonna go into Starmie. Mm -hmm. Starmie for sure. Dragonite is another option, but most likely Starmie. And I would assume that he either goes for just Psyshock playing it safe or Hydro Pump. I think Mount is just gonna sack the Caldeo. He doesn't wanna go hard Tita and risk he going for Hydro Pump here. Because then his Tita would obviously get two hit KO'd. But if he goes uh, sex to kill you, goes in the Tita after, then he can still um, potentially live a Hydro Pump. Um, he will obviously know his Tita spread and he sees that it's life of Starmie, so he only goes to Tita here if he knows he can live. Otherwise, he's gonna go to like um, Lari or Mew, I would guess. But if his Tita is like the spread that can eat. Like, Starmie's not an OU at the moment in Gen 7. Like, I haven't cut with Starmie in a fat minute, so I don't know how much bulk Tita needs. Or if even non bulk invested Tita can live a pump. But he's at 76 after rocks, if I recall correctly. So non bulk Tita, I think, has a good chance to die from that. That's just my head cock, that's what I would guess. The thing is, if Tita, even if Tita lives a pursuit, uh, not a pursuit, a hydro pump, Mount still has to, um, like. Like, if he pursues and Starmie stays in, I think the Starmie still lives it. And knowing he is in a. Um, like that's like the type of guy to make an aggressive play like that. I think he would just hydro pump again here. Um, Tita comes out, so it, like it obviously lives the way Mount sends it out. I assume this is gonna do like maybe 68%. And um, pursuit if Starmi stays in, I don't think it kills 62. Okay. With life up and send, it might kill, but it, no, it barely doesn't kill. So now it's gonna be a double down if um, Starmie can hit another Hydro Pump. I don't think Mount uh, has any reason to switch out. His Tita is at 2% after Rocks if he switches. It's not gonna do much. It's pretty much uh, slower than he has team. So like, I don't think there's a point in switching the Tita out. Um, and if you stay in, you get the chance to potentially dodge a Pump. Uh, even though if he has another 100% accurate move, he should go for the accurate move and not go for Pump. But yeah, he goes for another Pump and hits. So it's a double down. And I can see Mounts going into Mew again here and just saying, Yeah, I'm Mew, I'm super annoying to your team, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> okay, they finally sent out their Mounts, I just paused it for a bit. I'm surprised that he went in the guard charm because like I said, Mew can... Like, Mew is super a big nuisance to his team. So, um, just roosting is a completely fine play, scouting what Garchomp locks himself into. Garchomp is gonna get confused eventually, he is gonna be forced to switch out. And we can tell from that damage that it's not Fist Death Gliscoll as I already talked about. I already um, assumed that at Team Preview. Because I think Fist Death Gliscoll takes like 40-ish and this did 53. So it's like um, probably careful or speedy. And yeah, Earthquake is going to come out here. I assume here it's going to go Jirachi. Jirachi can take an Earthquake and then threaten out the Gliscoll with a potential Icy Wind. Um, so yeah. This girl is going to be back at full here after the Earthquake on, yeah, if the Earthquake off on Jirachi, he's going to be back at full. Now he's going to switch into his own Jirachi out of his Mew. Um, I mean, Mew is super useful in this game, so I guess, I know he wants to keep it healthy, but if he goes Mew, he can, like, eat up a hit and then just softball it. So, like, I don't think he loses much by going Mew, but on the other side, Jirachi is also a fine play. 
So let's go to Jirachi and scouting for Icy Wind. Correct play. There's the Icy Wind. So I don't know if what they run Black White. Um, could be Fire Punch. So he might go into Guard Trump. Um, like I've also seen HP Fire. HP Fire slash Fire Punch is an option, I guess. So like from you don't want to go from Fire Week to Fire Week if you're here, right? You either sack your Jirachi or you go Guard Trump, right? Um, He, he went Ladi. Um, I don't know if he predicted the Magnus Zone, and because if he predicted the Magnus Zone, that means that he's most likely specs HP Fire Ladi. Or um, hmm, not harm percent sure. Like if like sometimes I don't know everything about Black White. Just let me know in the comments if you know what he predicted a specific turn. Um, but yeah, obviously Mount has to um, switch out here because um, he's most likely not Scarf Ladi, and he has to um, sack something because. He doesn't want to go a Glisco that gets treated killed after rocks by Outrage unless he gets like super low rolls. And he also doesn't want to go Mew and um, potentially get crit by Outrage or like just in general Mew is too important. So now he's going to be able to go to Mew, threaten his other will wisp He is going to have to switch into either Magnezone or Jirachi. Um, I guess he might want to keep Jirachi as fodder and that would mean, yeah, he will just, he will just go in a Magnezone then. If he wants to keep Jirachi as fodder. He goes in the zone, there's the wisp, he misses unfortunately. And yeah, he is just gonna spam flash can now. Mount is gonna switch out into Gliscor. And flash can um, is not gonna be able to do it KO, I'm pretty sure. It's gonna do like 40 ish to Gliscor. Between 42 and 46, something like that maybe. And since the Gliscor has poison heal, doesn't care about rocks. Gonna be able to munch on that flash can. Okay, 47. So Glisco can roost here just playing it safe, or um, Glisco can also Ice Fang predicting a switch. Not sure if it's con. Yeah, it's not confirmed obviously yet, the, the move said. But roost was probably be the play that Mount is gonna make. Uh, even if he breaks that and flash cans again, he doesn't really gain much. Eventually, he just has to switch out and uh, either sack Jirachi or go hard into um, Dragonite because Magnezone and. Garchomp both don't beat this good score. You have figured out this much. <laughs> so um I assume I even if it's I think um Dragonite is gonna be able to live one and go for Dragonlance and heavily weaken the Gliss score. That's pretty much what Hai has to do here. So he just Roost playing it safe, he stays in. And Mount is most likely just gonna earthquake here. So here goes to Dnet, gets that play correct. He's not gonna be able to drag Nets up because if he doesn't drag Nets, I don't think he does enough damage. So if Mons doesn't have Ice Fang, he's in a super bad position. So, but I assume he has it. It's gonna do like if he has it, it's gonna do like 63 maybe, 69. Okay, and he gets the freeze, which is pretty much. I was about to say that would be game over, but. So he thankfully has a Lumberry and now he can go for Outrage. Um, if Glisco gets like crit here or um, for some reason doesn't lift this Outrage, I think um, Mount loses. Because, but yeah, it's able, it's able to live it, that's what I thought. But, like if he got crit there, it would pretty much game over. And like if Glisco died, then all like Ladi is slower, also dies and Mew can, yes Mew can uh, probably take the plus one Outrage, but then Mew is heavily weakened. But now he, uh, Mount can still win this. Uh, he is gonna have to go to Rachi or Garchomp. I assume he's gonna Garchomp and click um, Outrage. The reason I say Outrage over Dragon Claw is because if you click the Dragon Claw, um, it does like no damage to the Mew. Like the Mew just comes out so free. Like Mount is most likely um, gonna sack the Glisco here, right? Um, dual Chop. Yeah, okay, okay. No, I know that sometimes carry Dual Chop. It's for, um, I think it's for Sashmons, yeah, like Sash Alakazam, some other Sashmons, um, or also for going through sub, or maybe, maybe also for some, nah, nah I think it's mainly for Sash, but yes, like I said, throw, like, throw what you know in the comments about Black White if I say anything wrong. So he's gonna softball here, keep his Mew healthy, um, here he just went Jirachi on the Wisp, and now, um, I think it's pretty obvious that... Mount is just gonna softball it again. So he can switch out and keep the Jirachi as fodder for the Ladi, I guess. Because, like. 
if Mount Wisps here um, and Jirachi attacks him, his Mew is not at full and he wants his Mew at full, so that's why he softballed it. And yeah, here is what I was talking about. He breaks that and switches out. Makes the, yeah, I agree with that play. And yeah, now he has to click Flash Cannon again. So, Mount has two options. Okay, he's, he he just whisked again, okay. Like, Mount's two options here would be either going Ladi, if he has HP Fire, obviously, or if he doesn't have it, he just stays in. And he probably went for Wolverisp here. So, I assume he just sacks his... Um oh, here he went for Softball. Oh, yeah, okay, he went for Softball because he's slower. Okay, so it's Scarf Toxic. Guard Chomp, pretty interesting. Ice Beam picks off the kill with the Toxic damage, maybe? B belly Knot? Yeah, belly not. So Mount is gonna softball here. He breaks that again. Okay, okay, never mind. Ooh, never mind. Mount's finally not. Oof. Mount is like, nah, boy. Goes in the lardy. Um, probably was specs in power fire. Okay, okay. I thought he would just softball, but this time he is like, nah. Uh, Mount is like, nah, boy. Not like this. I'm, I've had enough. I can also play, make a play on you. So Mew is gonna get 2 hit KO'd with the poison damage. Um, if Garchomp wouldn't die to Toxic first, obviously Garchomp dies to Toxic first, my bad. And Mounts just wins now with his Lottie. Um, that is gonna click. He zone clicks T Bolt. And yeah, Specs HP Fire. Um, like, I've run some colors because, like I said, I don't know why too much. And non specs would not have been able to kill the zone from there, so that was definitely specs, Lari. So thank you guys for watching. I know I had like some some little arrows at one, two points. Nah, I think it was fine overall, considering that I don't know much about black, white, it was fine, yeah. Just just let me know um, what what you have to add about black, white. So, um, the score is 1 1 now. Um, they're gonna have to play Auras OU to decide the series, which is gonna be super hype because both players are great at Auras. Um, cannot wait to see this game. Um, Dagi, uh, Arena Trap is what I should say, is now banned also in Auras, so that the meta is a little bit different there. Suicune is like kind of dominant, like common in Auras. People are like kind of sad, um, not sad, like they've had, an, they've had enough of Suicune pretty much. Some people think Suicune is broken, but it's gonna be a super hype match to receive. There's gonna be a Kuhn or Clef. Uh, maybe some comments were um, staging for that and peace out friends.